Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you and happy Thursday. We're starting you out here with clear skies this early morning, taking you right over to SkyCam 8 Santa Cruz, the beach boardwalk. What a beautiful view that is, right? We have clear skies, 57 degrees for you, and the humidity is about 95%, so it's going to feel a little bit muggy out there right now. 56 degrees for your dew point and the possibility of fog moving up into that area, not out of the question as we have had over the last uh, couple of days for sunrise. You're looking at 50s widespread till you get to Carmel Valley with 67 degrees, 62 degrees once you get into areas by Greenfield down into uh, San Ardo, 61 degrees of Bradley at 58. We're holding on to temperatures around the bay, mostly in the 50s with uh, Piscines and of course most temperatures in San, uh, San Benito County in the 60s currently. There's your fog along the coastline from San Francisco County to uh, Half Moon Bay or call it uh, right down into Davenport. You're going to see that fog kind of slipping into the bay. Not so much on the shore yet, but it will be holding on into the uh, next couple of hours. You're seeing limited fog as you get right into Marina and then into Salinas, but all that's going to sag down to the south eventually in the next hour or two back into the Monterey County All right, area. In fact, you're going to see temperatures today in the 70s, 80s, 90s for our coastal areas getting into the mountains. We'll start to see triple digit numbers getting all the way into the Central Valley. We'll do that in our local valleys as well, up to about 106 degrees as well by Gilroy. You're looking at 118 in Palm Springs. We cool it down a little bit as high pressure starts to back off a bit, so we'll hold on to some triple digits here possibly tomorrow. You'll see in the Central Valley definitely and they still have the possibility for excessive heat to linger. We're going to be seeing excessive heat well out to the highway, our Interstate 5, edging closer to San Benito County, but we have it mostly in the heat advisory that get expires at about 8 o'clock tonight. That means we're going to have some uh, intensity coming in as far as moisture comes. We're going to get that marine influence coming back and starting to cool us down, and marine influence is going to help us out. Over the next couple of days, we'll see gradual cooling. You see the faint uh, reds getting into the area here and the maroons. In fact, you see more cooling for us by the beaches by Saturday. As we go into your forecast, you're going to see limited cloud cover today. We'll pick up the clouds as we go into Thursday night, right into eventually into the areas by again into uh, the tonight and morning. And in fact, we'll see mostly cloudy skies by Friday morning. We'll see it again for Saturday morning as well. And then eventually we get right into some good looking numbers. Let's look at the temperatures here. You're going to see eventually here over the next couple of days as you go to your eight day forecast, we'll see gradual cooling well above seasonal average temperatures to finish out the work week and Saturday. Seasonal average temperatures by Sunday with more warming coming back again for the beginning of next week. We'll get Santa Cruz up to the 80s yet again by midweek. On the inland side, a couple more days of uh, some in, some intense heat there. You can see triple digits still holding on, but we gradually take you down to seasonal average temperatures by Sunday, and then we bring you back again into warmer conditions for next week. <laughs>